This movie tells a story about Diana, Princess of Wales. It focused during her Christmas holidays with the royal family at the Sandringham estate when Diana decides to leave her marriage to Prince Charles. First of all, right from the beginning of this movie, we know the story being told here is fiction. Described as a fable based on a true tragedy, the film doesn't tell the expected princess story at all. Contained to a Christmas weekend in 1991 at the Queen's Estate, Diana struggles with her marriage, her duties as a mother to boys William and Harry, the stifling confines placed on her by the crown, and the scandals that follow her around everywhere. This movie is a chamber piece meant to make the viewer feel the claustrophobia Diana endured being suffocated by the royal family. Every detail of her life is micromanaged, from the outfits she wears during the day to whether she can keep her curtains open or not. She has no control over anything, even if she simply wants to visit her childhood home. The movie presents the British monarchy as a duffy totalitarian enclave, steeped in traditions which only serve to extend their old world shelf life and filter them out from the plebs. The film charts her various strained attempts to break free of these stifling conditions. It's presented as a fairy tale turned on its head, the fragile beauty who loses her prince. The movie unfolds as Diana's descent into madness and drips with symbolism and metaphor. That being said, for all its considerable dramatic license, the film depends pretty much entirely on the main actress portrayal of the princess. Playing Diana is Kristen Stewart, who does a decent job. Unfortunately, the movie at times turns her performance into sketch and eerie caricature. The script is problematic from the get-go, packed with lots of winking pop psychology and on-the-nose portent and clearly written with future tragedy in mind. It's a heavy-handed psychological drama that reveals nothing about the woman. It's often witless and banal, leaving the filmmakers and actors to milk the drama from a string of interactions that are either overstuffed with meaning or just deathly dull. The film operates as if it has stumbled onto fresh insights, which in turn leaves you waiting to discover what the real take is, and it never comes. It leans hard on what we know is to come six years later, but that is not enough to carry a drama that engages in so many flights of fancy. The movie turns this Diana into exactly the thing the royal family accused the real-life Diana of being, a willful and pouty constant complainer. This Diana is a wrong innocent who seems sadly hooked on her victim status. It's supposed to read as vulnerability, but it looks a lot like megalomania, surely the exact opposite of what the filmmakers intended. The crushing irony of this movie and perhaps its main flaw is that it's meant to leave audiences feeling sorry for the princess, but it might well instead deflect their sympathies towards the prince. Overall, this movie is a disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all.